Hi, I'm Kara from Karen Co Creative. And if you're new to me in the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and all manner of online business systems, basically anything you need to get your business up and running online. Today, I have a very quick tutorial for SiteGround users who are looking to install an SSL certificate. I'm gonna take you from my shoulder in case you're a little bit unsure of what I'm speaking about. An SSL certificate basically um, helps tell viewers that your website is secure, depending on your browser, it'll show differently. But here you can see this little lock icon on my site means that it has an SSL certificate up and running. Um, this will be important depending on how people have their security system set up on their computer. Um, they might not be able to open your website if you don't have an SSL certificate on it. So in SiteGround, the way you add one is in your back end here, you go to security, SSL manager, and then all you need to do is select the domain that your website's on and then add an SSL certificate. You can see this site actually already has one, the Let's Encrypt wildcard. I tend to just do the first one, um, but either one is fine. Premium would carry a price, but either of the first two, you would select get, and then you just wait a minute until you see this active here. Then when you open up your website, it'll be a little bit frustrating. You'll notice it's not secure, even though you've added the SSL certificate. So there's another step you have to do. In a previous video, I show you how you can use a, a plugin called Really Simple SSL to do this, um, but they've gotten a bit more robust and a bit too complex, and there is a much simpler fix. And that is just to come down to Settings, General. And then here, all you need to do is put an S in both of these URLs, HTTPS, HTTPS. Once you make that change and hit Save Changes, it'll log you out. It may log you out. Um, it didn't this time for me, but you can see here now the site is secure. So that change is the only thing you need to do and then your website will be secure. So that is a super quick tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to drop a like on this video. And as always, you can subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss future tutorials. All right, thanks so much.